Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new webinar. Today, we are here with attorney Ruby Powers from Powers Law Group, and we're going to talk about the O-1 Extraordinary Ability Visa. So Ruby, she is a board-certified immigration and attorney, uh, immigrant nationality attorney, and she ha she's been licensed since 2008, and she founded the firm in November of 2009. So Ruby, the word is yours. Thank you, Maria. Yes, we have a full service immigration law firm located in Houston, but since it's federal law, we can help individuals all around the world on U.S. immigration matters. So the O-1 is a really great opportunity because uh, you don't necessarily need um, a job offer. It can be for lots of different scenarios. Um, you can create your opportunity and it can give you opportunity to come here for three years at a time. You can also bring family and those who help support you. And it can lead to an opportunity for a green card later down the road. So it it does give you a lot of options. So in general, and again, this is just uh, information, not legal advice. And of course, always get a consultation to uh, for your specific matter, but we're hoping this can be a, a good um, place to bounce off some um, information and go from here, but definitely share with friends and those who you think might could benefit. But O1 is for those who possess extraordinary abilities in the sciences, arts, education, business, or athletics, and have demonstrated a record of extraordinary achievement in the motion picture, picture or television industry and been recognized nationally or internationally for those achievements. The O not one is a is a not the O is a non-immigrant classification and there's different types of O's. So there's the O1A, uh, which is individuals with extraordinary ability in the science, education, business, or athletics. Um, and this also could include those who have their own business. This could be a good opportunity for those who might not qualify for the E2 because they're not part of one of the nations that has a treaty with the United States. And this can give um, gives a lot of options for those. Now, the O1B is for individuals with an extraordinary ability in the arts or extraordinary achievement in motion picture or television industry. Now, uh, this can mean various things like a starring or leading role in a major production or event, national recognition from important critics, a critical role in a reputable organization connected to the field, their field, a reputation for significant success, significant written recognition from others and experts in the field, and a significant salary or other financial success. So lots of different factors to consider. And, you know, the more, the better. Um, and so part of our role is to evaluate the likelihood of your success on a O1 and preparing so um, and giving you um, it guidance on what the future could hold. But in many cases, this could later lead to uh, an immigrant option. Now, O2 um, is for those who accompany an O1 artist or athlete to assist in specific event or performance. And O3 are spouse and children of O1 and O2. So this can include a lot of different uh, roles in this visa option. Now, sp spouses, um, um, so the, the requirements for the O1, mm -hmm. so just in general, are demonstrate extraordinary ability by sustained national or inter international claim um, or a record of extraordinary achievement in the motion picture or television industry and must be coming temporarily to the U.S. to continue work in the area of the extraordinary ability. So it is a non-immigrant visa. The intent is to come here for a short period of time, but you are given three years in general at a time and can extend that. So sometimes more time you might be here longer, um, just like what happens with an E2 where um, you can extend it pretty much indefinitely. Um, Extraordinary ability in the field of science, education, business, or athletics means a level of expertise indicating that you're one of a small percentage of who have risen to the very top of the field. So when we're doing consultations, we like to compare notes to see how many other people are similar to you in that respect. Um, and if you say there's not that many, we you know do dive deeper into that, and that is beneficial to your case. So to qualify for an O2, your assistance must be integral part. Um, so this can be part of like an entourage of the, like a performer, for example, um, and uh, like hair and makeup, for example, or like there's other backup dancers and things like that. Um, so this could be uh, integral to part to the O1's performance 
and have critical skills um, that uh, are not of general nature, not can, and that cannot be readily performed by a U.S. worker. So um, there's different ways for this to work. So a U.S. employer, U.S. agent, or foreign employer through a U.S. agent should file the I-129 on your behalf along with required evidence according to the form. Um, the employer agent should file the I-129 at least 45 days before the date of employment. There is the cons a premium processing to get a decision earlier. Um, the, con the petitioner must provide a written advisory opinion from a peer group or a person with expertise in the beneficiary's area. If the petition is for an individual with extraordinary achievement in motion picture or television, the consultation must come from appropriate labor union and a management organization with expertise in the beneficiary's area of ability. The contract between the petitioner and beneficiary, the petitioner must submit a copy of the written contract between you and the petitioner of a summary of the terms of the oral agreement under which you will be employed. Um, now, the, the you can show the application of the itineraries. You can show what you're going to intend to do. So, so the O-1 is used for lots of different purposes. So um, it depends um, on what type of O-1 you're going to be, um, what your intended purpose is of what type of evidence to demonstrate. So a petitioner must establish their, that, you know, if we're going to an events and activities, they're in the field of your extraordinary ability, requested an itinerary or for a tour or a series of events. Um, a U.S. agent must be your actual employer, the representative of both of you and the employer or a person or entity authorized by the employer to act for or in a place of the employer as its agent. Mm -hmm. So you have to demonstrate the eligibility and record a must. The record must include at least three different types of documentation corresponding to those listed regulations. Now, this is for up to three years. You can have an extension of stay afterwards of up to one year afterwards. So this can continue to be up, extended. Um, you may, um, you must be admitted in the U.S. for validity period of the petition plus the period of up to 10 days uh, before the validity period begins. And you're only authorized to work during the validity period of the petition. Now, um, extension can be done in with the um it can be done different ways, including, um, well, it, with the I-129 and the copy of 984 and explaining why you need to stay in the U.S. to do so. Now, the O-1 can be used for, like we said, um, motion picture. It can be used for business owners, uh, those in the arts and science. It can be used for influencers. Uh, it can be used for lots of different purposes. And it um, it does, it is intensive in preparing the evidence of that relation of the qualifications, but it has, uh, it, it, it's, it's so, it's such a great opportunity to allow somebody to come to the United States and three years um, initially and then one year extensions. But by doing so, more opportunities happen. And if that was the intent, eventually later on, it could, there could be an option for a green card. Um, eligibility uh, uh, by building up your resume, having more accolades and showing, um, building up more of your extraordinariness. Um, so here at Powers Law Group, we'd like to help you with your O1s, and, but we wanted to provide this just general information. Please feel free to share it. Please feel free to give us a call. You can contact us all these different ways on X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, phone, email, uh, contact at rubypowerslaw.com. You can call us at 713-589-2085. And this is our last webinar for April. So we hope you enjoyed it. This will also be provided in Spanish, but you can check out more on our YouTube page. And so thanks so much for watching. And if this was helpful, you know, let us know, let us share with a friend, give us a, you know, a thumbs up or a review. Um, really appreciate it. And um, thanks for watching.